everyone, and welcome to Unit 7, Module 34. We are talking about thinking, concepts, and creativity. Here are your learning objectives, and here is your vocab. So what is cognition? Cognition is all the mental activities that are associated with thinking, knowing, remembering, and communicating. You may recall that cognitive psychology is one of the seven perspectives we discussed earlier in the year. And whenever you think cognitive, you should think thinking. And memory, the first three modules, are related to cognitive because it's a part of how we think. So when we think, we like to think in concepts. And concepts are mental groupings of similar objects, events, ideas, or people. Basically, it's like categorizing items or things or people, etc. So for example, we can say that the man was angry, right? We can categorize, like the, the idea of a man is a concept, right? You might think of an adult male. You, um, angry is a concept that you think of and know what that means. Um, if you ask for a chair, a chair is a concept. It's a category where a bunch of different things would qualify as a chair, but someone else knows what you mean. So it really makes our life easier. Prototypes are the mental image or the best example that we have for each category. So for example, the category of a bird, right? Well, technically a penguin is a bird, a bald eagle, an ostrich, um, all of those are birds, but when you think of a bird or someone says they saw a bird, you tend to think of this image on the left here, which is the smaller flying animal. We have found in research that people, when they categorize or put um, items into concept groups, they then tend to um, push their understanding or memory of that thing towards the prototype. Um, they did a study with viewing blended faces that were 70% Caucasian, 30% Asian characteristics, and people categorized that face as Caucasian. And when later recalled it, they were recalling Caucasian features um, and not any of the Asian features. So we tend to move towards the prototype. Creativity is part of thinking, of course. It's our ability to produce novel and valuable ideas. There is a correlation with creativity and intelligence, but intelligence alone doesn't make someone creative. You, it engages different brain areas, and it is a different way of thinking. There are two ways of thinking, convergent and divergent. Convergent means to come together, meaning finding a single solution to a problem. The multiple choice on an AP psych exam where there's one answer, that's convergent thinking. Divergent thinking would be the opposite where there's one problem and you come up with multiple solutions. So for example, how many things can you do with a brick? Right? If I gave you a couple minutes, you write all those things out, now you're using divergent thinking, which is creative thinking, because you're coming up with multiple different solutions. So there are five components to creativity, according to Robert Sternberg and his colleagues, expertise, imaginative thinking skills, venturesome personality, so taking risks, intrinsic motivation, so having that joy, that interest just within you and not being um, you know, forced to do something creatively. And in a creative environment, Google has said that it estimates nearly half of its product innovations have come from what they give, which is this 20% of their um, employee time is reserved and unstructured, and it's just for like creative thinking. And they think that that's been really valuable to them. So takeaways. Creativity can be learned through practice. You might think, well, I'm not creative, but 
you haven't maybe given yourself time to be creative. So the more you practice it, the more you give yourself space and time, and the more you are encouraged to be creative, the more you will be able to do it. Creativity is correlated with intelligence, but intelligence alone isn't going to make you creative. A concept is a category or grouping. A prototype is our best fit or best example of those categories. Convergent means to come together with a single solution. Divergent means coming up with multiple solutions. And that is it for Mod 34, and I will see you in class.